Hey, so it's been about a year and a half since I started my garage gym, and today I'm gonna to take you through a tour of what I've got today. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, the channel focused on fitness tips and product reviews for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got in the garage gym. Down in the description below, I'll list as many links to the items I've got in my garage gym as possible. All right, so starting from what I see first, uh, I've got my my two benches right out front here. So I've got my Rep Fitness. This is the FB 5000, um, and I've got the Fitness Reality 1000 bench, the adjustable bench. All right. So next to my benches, I've got the Air Bike or the Salt Air Bike Classic. Then moving my way over this way, you can see I've got all of the mirrors that I've installed in here. That was one of the first things I wanted to do when I started this. Uh, definitely with having just a one car garage, having the mirrors makes the space feel a lot bigger. Then uh, I'll just make a comment about the flooring I've got. Um, you can see that it's not all the way complete. I really do want to finish this off with horse stall mats uh, for the majority of the, the space. Uh, but like most of you know that during COVID, they have been hard to come by. So I was able to get horse stall mats when I did my uh, lifting platform, um, but I haven't been able to find them since. All right, so then the centerpiece of the gym I have my Titan Fitness T3 rack and then connected to that I've got the Titan uh, pulley tower and that's the one that's that specifically got the adjustable arm you can move it up and down um, and I like that a lot use it extensively in all my workouts and then also attached to the T3 rack, I've got the lap pull down in there. All right, then I'll talk about some of the other things I have attached to the rack or I used with the rack. So down below here, I've got the Titan uh, landmine attachment. And up above here, I've got Titan's wide dip attachment as well. I just store it up there to keep it up and out of the way. And then a recent addition has been these Titan spotter arms, which I recently did a, uh, a review on. And then I've got some band pegs that I use with the rack occasionally. Um, I do have the pin and pipe safeties. I have them stored out in the back there. Now that I have these um, spotter arms, I do most of my work outside of the rack. And then I do have plate storage along the rack that came with the T3 rack and my weight plates. All right, and then for weight plate storage, I made this DIY profile weight plate storage rack. Um, so that's just a two by four that I mounted to the wall and then attached uh, these uh, metal plumbing parts to it to use for plate storage. And then I have some bumper plates there. I've just got two sets of 25s and then two sets of 10s. Um, most of these are from a local company called G Fitness. My plan is here soon to, uh, once I can find them in stock, to also add to that a set of 45s and 15s. 
All right, and then I do have the lifting platform. I also did a video on that, um, a tutorial on how I did how I did that one. Um, but essentially, this one I made a wedge underneath it so that I could level my garage floor, and then put the uh, plywood down with the gym mats or the horse stall mats and hardwood in the middle. All right, now moving over this way, I've got this um, back extension uh, or a Roman chair. This is, uh, you know, a cheapo I got off of Amazon, but I actually really liked it. You know, it does everything I need it to do. And then over here, I've got some storage. I really like these uh, pegboards that I got off of uh, Amazon. I think they're from a company called Wall Control. Um, really helps to keep things organized, and I really love just it's a uh, it's their metal um, pegboards. I really love the white color. They've got it. They've got them in a variety of colors as well. So then, some of the things I've got here. They are, I got the Walmart knockoff mag grips over here. Um, I really loved them. Uh, one thing I'll note is I actually got a little uh, hack from uh, folks that commented on my video when I did a review of these to add carabiners to them because really the weak link on these are the grommets. So that's been working out pretty well. Uh, I've got a lat pull down bar at the bottom there. I've got a dip belt um, that's from uh, the dip belt and these ankle straps are from a company called The Moose Fitness. Got those off of Amazon and they've worked out really well. Then down there on the ground I've also got this um, medicine ball. I uh, had that for forever really. Um, don't know where I got that. Then I've got an ab roller. I've got some pedal bells. I think I've got a 45, 35, and then 220s down there. And then moving over this way, I've got my dumbbell rack. Um, I think the dumbbell rack is from Marcy. Uh, I got that on Amazon years, years ago. And then I've got now a set of dumbbells from fives up to fifties. Um, just about all of them now are the rubber hex dumbbells. I got them from uh, the, the same uh, local company here called G Fitness. Um, so I'm just waiting to try to upgrade my eights and my twelves so that they're all uniform. And then since I exceeded the capacity of my three-tier dumbbell rack. I built this additional shelf on top, and recently I did a tutorial on how to how to build that. All right, then on the other side, I've got another one of the uh, pegboards. We got some two and a half uh, change plates, um, then a few more attachments for the cable machine. Nothing too special about those. Behind my fan down here, well the fan's really important, but behind the fan I've got my Echo Dot and that's what I use for music in here. Then moving up to the wall, I've got my Korean and American flags. A few people have asked, uh, you know, why the Korean flag and that's uh, because my family and I lived in Korea for five years, so you know, when we moved here, we wanted to bring a little piece of Korea with us. Then, a staple in any garage gym, I think, is having a TV. So I've got a TV up there, and occasionally I'll put my programming up there, or, you know, we'll just watch shows as we're working out. All right, then over here I've got my Rip Fitness uh, Soft Plyo Box. This one is the 24-2016 version. I uh, really like that. I think it's the perfect size. 
And then moving over to this wall, we've got, I've got my hex, uh, hex bar, uh, hex trap bar, I guess, from Titan. Um, I really like that. Um, I really like doing deadlifts with that uh, because in the past I've had some lower back issues trying to do regular deadlifts, so this has been really nice. And then up here I've got my six bar barbell rack. That's the cap uh, barbell rack. Um, works out great, no issues with it. Uh, and then on the rack I've got over here, this is my Rogue uh, Eco Bar. Really have loved that. No complaints with it. The other bar up here is just a, a cheapo bar I've had for a long time. Not even sure what the, the brand is, but it's nice to have a second barbell. And then this one here is the Xmark Lumberjack. Easy curl bar, and I've also really liked using that. Then up on top, this is just a PVC pipe. Use that for warming up sometimes. Got the the pad we use mostly now just for uh, hip thrusts. And then I've got my uh, uh, collars there, two different collars. Um, got both of these off of Amazon, not sure what brand they are. And there's our gym name up there on the wall, La Fuerza Gym. We can do hard things, that's kind of our family slogan. All right, then over here, my wife has a sandbag. She, use, she uses that a lot for her street parking workouts. All right, then over here, I've got a spin bike. This is actually what I use most often for my cardio workouts. This one is a Schwinn. Um, it's, it's really old. I got it used probably four or five years ago. Uh, and I don't know how old it was at that point, but it's worked out really well. It's missing a few screws here and there. Like here in the end, you can see I'm missing some screws, which I guess I'm too lazy just to replace them, but it works fine without. All right, and then up in this corner, I've got uh, some storage. I got this shelf off of Amazon just to get some stuff up, up off the floor and uh, that's always nice and helpful. Alright and then lastly I've got some more storage over here in the corner. Um, I've got on there some, these are uh, wedges you can use to do like raised heel and raised toe type of work, workouts. But then I've got an assortment of bands. Use those quite a bit. Love to use them, especially for warming up. And I've got this Dark Iron Fitness weight belt. This is a fairly new addition for me. For the longest time, I, I did my lifts without a weight belt. Now when I do my squats and deadlifts, I've been using this and I like it quite a bit. Uh, just has taken me a little bit to try to get used to using a belt and the right placement for it. And I've got some more uh, bands. These are like the, the fabric style. Um, I have a DIY uh, TRX system or a suspension trainer. Um, made that for like $20. Uh, works out great. And then lastly, I've got my uh, foam, roller, foam roller here for recovery. All right, so I think that does it for the garage gym tour in 2021. Um, like most garage gym owners, uh, I'm probably gonna make quite a few changes in the next year, just because I guess I'm an addict like others are. Um, so we'll see how things grow and evolve over time. But I'm, I'd love to hear your comments about what you think of what I've got or any uh, improvements I could make. Uh, just leave me a comment in, in the down below and we'll see you next time.